Mama, come here. What's up? Well, look what I got. This. Big is starling. Starling heavy. But don't you already have a starling fight? Yeah, I do. But I'm going to check this out to see if it performs better in heavy rains. I, I lose connectivity every now and then in really, really heavy downpours. I'm just kind of curious to see if this is going to work. So this is actually it's a high performance, but as you can tell, it's heavy. Starlink heavy. So, you want the honors of opening up? Yeah. Okay, so, do you prefer a drill bit? Or box cutters? Well, since this is not a good drill bit, then... Really? <laughs> I've seen you open boxes with that before. Wait, no way, no way, no way, no way. So go for it, go for it, go for it, go for it. That's a very, that's the right tool for it, I think. Connected. So this is all the only work we've done is we've removed it. So we got the dish, we put the dish on the base, and then there's this really long cable, which is a starlight cable, which is about 82 feet long, and it comes into what appears to be a power supply. And already pre-wired in is of course the cable for the power supply to be able to plug in. And we have another cable that comes out of here that comes over to the router. To be a much shorter cable, it's probably about two meters of cable, mm -hmm. and then also the plug for the power. So that's the whole kit right there. It's already wired up for us, so we don't have to do anything. Now, this thing stands on its own. This thing appears not. It is designed to be wall mounted, but this is what the wall mounting is. And so I think we might be able to put it on a desktop. Maybe not. We'll find out and put that in there whether we really have to wall mount that or not. It looks like that's everything we need in the kit. What's going to be interesting is that we come over here and unplug a few items here. Whoa. Aha. This is a slightly different connector than. All right. We've got two different connectors here. This is the one that comes from the dish. Yes. So if we look really closely in here, Really, really close to look at this connector. This is slightly different geometric configuration. There's no way I can plug this one into here. It won't go in. So it will only go into there. It's designed to do that. So you can't really screw up. And then we come over here, and that one is going to be, oh, I've also got it a bit backwards. So it's basically pokey to make sure you can only put it into one of the interfaces and not the other. Now, when we come over here, I think this goes back, aha, yeah, so this is more like the original one that I remember seeing in the original dish. Yeah, it's, okay. a, it's the same thing there. So that should be interchangeable. In theory, we can probably use the router from the old one and just plug into it. Mm -hmm. That would be able to, to function. We'll find out if that's going to be that easy or whether we actually have to use this and whether we can have both of them up there and compare both of them next to each other. All right, you want to bring it up to the roof? Yes. That's All right. You're ready. So when I went to figure out how to put this up on the roof, I measured these distances here, and these were like really odd distances. They, they were not your normal sort of stud 16 inches or 24 inches or anything like that. And so it was pretty clear it would be pretty hard to mount it straight to the roof anywhere. And I was trying to come up with all sorts of different contraptions, and then I realized that the hatch to the roof and actually mount it straight on there. So it was actually pretty easy by doing that. Now I have a neighbor around here who also has a and they have a metal roof. And he told me that the fastest
fasteners in his metal roof, the spacing of those exactly matched this. So he didn't have to do anything. I don't know if that was coincidence or not, but he was able to pop it in really, really easy. So for now, rather than, as we can see, if we take the new base, the new base is much bigger than the original. However, it seems like this dimension is the same. And then if I'm gonna swap it out, all I have to do is put two new holes in here. I can still use the original two. But then I have to patch these up to make sure it does not end up leaking through it or something like that. So I put gaskets and everything else in here to make sure it's all right. The other thing that's really nice about the fact that I have a hatch here is that even though it's just kind of sealed, there's a very loose gasket and there's an air gap in there. It's very easy to run and, and snake this cable through here without it pinching or anything else. So there's more than enough of a gap uh, to go through without worrying about the integrity of the cable afterwards. All right, so let's get the new dish. Okay, can I take this one off? Uh, let's leave it up for a second and then compare the two, mm -hmm. see what it's like. All right, so there we go. Now, we well, can it's see much bigger. So much it's, bigger. It's double the size. The other thing is should be pretty obvious also is that no way these are interchangeable. This Those cables are a completely different gauge. Yeah, since it's much power. Yeah. Even yeah. Power is yep. So we need to swap them out. Yeah. All right. Also, now it kind of makes sense that this way is almost like the double in this direction yeah. because the size of the screen. Double. It's about double. It's almost, yeah. it's not quite, but it's almost exactly double. I have a feeling it has twice the number of components. So it's a little bit bigger in this dimension, but I'm not sure it's quite twice the other. It is bigger, and I'm concerned on whether we can reuse the stand with that or not. Now this is bolted down pretty well. Uh, it does have a bit more sail area, so on higher winds, it's going to be torquing a bit more. And having this, the fact that you have it spread out a bit more, means... Yeah, the It'll torquing be... is going to be a little bit different, whether yeah. it won't be able to budge off, but yeah. I think the fact that we're not mounting this directly on the ground, if you're just popping this on the ground, you want to have the much wider stance. If it's fastened in, I don't think there's a problem with yeah. The only question is whether this fits down. Yeah. What do you think? Is it going to swap out? It looks like. It looks like it's about the same. Okay. So. Okay. That unplugs very easily. So we remove the original dish. And the AC unit comes on right on cue. Okay. Now, what do you think? Is that gonna fit? And we have to get it to the right position. Get that right yep. position there? It does. Same position as it. Popped right in. Mm -hmm. Yep. Add a dish on here. So we were able to swap them out. See a different size dish. run that cable in through here. So Actually, the upstairs wiring was pretty easy, so we can take a look over here. We can see we ran it through the wall, and we have what is the original wire and the new wire for the new dish. So this is the original router. So all it had has is the power supply and the, the, the wire that's coming on from up top. So I don't need this anymore, so I'm going to remove that, and we have the new dish. The new dish has the heavier cable coming into the power supply. We can compare the two, we can see they're different gauges, so definitely you cannot swap them out. There's no way you have to use it. It comes into the power supply. And then there's a shorter cable that goes from the power supply actually back to the router. So the router looks like the other router in many ways. It's just that for some reason, they decided to change the color. I don't see the, there's any other difference except a cosmetic difference on the color. And that's it. And then you just need now two outlets instead of one. So I can unplug the original 
And then here we go. So the original kit was just a dish, the base, which is still up top, and a router, and that's it. And the new one is a bigger dish, same router, power supply.